Hey, it's the Chief Bonnie with Board Games. This is an unboxing of Silent Victory U.S. Submarines in the Pacific. I may have missed that in a prior take. From 1941 to 1945, solitaire game based on the Hunters. Also involved in that is the Hunted. Silent Victory, of course, is in the Pacific from the U.S. point of view. Whoop, whoop. Let's go see what's inside. All right, Silent Victory, Greg, Gregory Smith. Of course, GMT. And this is uh, submarines, U.S. submarines in the Pacific from 41 to 45. So we'll look at the back here. And we can see, what is that, a Gato? Yeah, it's a Gato class. So let's... See if my fingernails, yes, can get in here. We'll take this out of shrink. We'll go through. So talking to Greg Smith, the designer, I've had him on the show. Um, it's He describes it as, um, all right, got rid of the paper, the plastic, so there's no crinkling. Um, B-17, Under the Ocean. So it's a solitaire game um, that makes me feel like you're going to be hearing maybe or there'll be some crew. I've never really gotten much into naval games as much, so wooden ships and iron men, and definitely um, not too much in submarine warfare. But one thing that's always intrigued me is commanders in combat. So they start getting commanders like Eugene Flucky and the whole story of the sinking of a locomotive off of uh, the shore of Japan, but all the interesting and bold maneuvers by the submariners. So definitely intrigued, and it is called a history simulation game. I had to get some hands on it. This, the time is 1400 hours, 7 December, 1941. Let's see what's in here. All right, rules of play. So, non-glossy color. Uh, how to play the game. What do we got here? 28, 28 pages. Let's just thumb through a little bit. It looks like a mission page. Maybe some medals. All right, pretty dense, actually. How to win the game. Okay. Off to the side, counter sheet two of two, front side, Let's see if we can get that lit. Hmm. So large tankers, small tankers, large passenger, interesting. Okay, here's counter sheet one of two. All right. Again, I've not played Hunters, but this is um, in that same vein by design. Because there's Hunters, and then the Hunted, and then Silent Victory. I'm not sure if I got the order right, but nice. These are big sheets. I actually thought they were going to be these little half sheets. All right, Porpoise. Let's, let's go ahead and take this off. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got multiple styles. So I can square up salmon. These are thick. I'll just keep flipping through. There's our gato. Tinch, argonaut. I got air. Okay, I'm very ignorant based on what I've told you already of submarine warfare, World War II. So, very nice though. I like the color and the feel even. Okay, what do we got here? Well, let's we'll see. Patrol assignment, Australia boats. Aircraft encounters, so maybe these are charts that we'll be using. Yeah, I believe so. So, torpedo uh, deck gun fire chart, torpedo dud chart, double sided. 
small freighter. Okay, looks like the types of vessels maybe you'll spot or come across or target. Capital ship target roster. Okay. Random events. Feels very B-17-ish. The submarine combat mat. Oh, I love, I love maps that will place me in particular places and times. Feel like I've traveled somewhere. For me, that's key for a solitaire game. One of the biggest things I like about B-17 Queen of the Skies is the zones that you push out as you're nearing and getting closer to your target. Very cool. And then in B-17, the fighting back to get back to base. It literally feels like you're, you're just, when you're in a distant zone, it's like, oh my God, look how far I gotta go to get back. Silent victory patrol log sheet, okay. Bag of dice. And this was almost off. So, okay, these are, these are hard card stock, glossy, and they look like sub-captains, I'm thinking. Not sure. Underwood, Mush, Whitaker, Dealey, wow, Medal of Honor, Purple Heart, Silver Star, Navy Cross, Slade Cutter, there's Flucky, yep, it's exactly. Medal of Honor, Navy Cross. Very cool. No cane. So I don't know the front and the back differences. Uh, awesome. 